I see a lot of businesses that are still struggling to get value from their website. Their website is not doing what they want it to be doing. That means they're not getting any leads from their website. They're not making any sales from their website. No inquiries, no visitors. And there is a lot of reasons for that. But today, episode 13 of SOS Creativity TV, I'm going to give you five reasons why people don't trust your website. Before I get started, I just want you to know that we're posting a lot of content on our website, on our YouTube channel, we're posting videos every week, we're posting blog posts every week, so make sure you subscribe to this channel so you don't miss the valuable content that we're giving out for free. With that being said, the first reason people don't trust your website is because you don't have an about us page. Let me explain what I mean. There's a lot of websites out there that don't have an about us page because they're one page websites or they have a very poorly written about us page. Yes, it's an about us page, but to be frank, the customer don't really care about you. What they want to know is what you're able to do for them. So by having an about us page, this is an opportunity for you to tell your customers why you exist, your unique selling points, the value that you can provide to them to help them grow their business or to, to, to help them do what it is that you're trying to sell to them. So by having a very well written about us page, customers will, uh, trust will be instilled into your customers, which will make them wanna interact with you. The second reason why people don't trust your website is because there's no contact information. Think about it. If there's no contact information, how does somebody know that you are a real business? How do they know that you're who you say you are? I mean, let's be real, it's 2018. It's very easy to whip up a website using a multitude of the available self-building platforms out there. Anyone can build a website. So with no contact information, there's no trust the customer or potential customer cannot decide if you're a real uh, business, if you're a real person, if you're a real brand. So by adding contact information on your website, whether that be in the footer of your website or whether that be on the contact page, this will help instill trust into your website, making people want to interact with you and want to uh, use your services or products that you're offering. The third reason people don't trust your website is because you don't have a testimonial or review. If you're a service-based business and you have no testimonial on your site, how is a potential customer meant to know if you're good at what you say you, you, you do? By having this on your, on your website, this is still trusting to people. They know that you've done the same service or you've provided the same service for someone before. And based on the testimonial of that person, they can determine whether they wanna use your service or not. And likewise, if you're a product-based business, if you're selling products, but there's no reviews on your website whatsoever, nobody's mentioned about how good or bad or okay your product is, this doesn't instill trust into your customers. So having this information on your website will make people trust you and will make people want to use your products or services. 90% of people are influenced by reviews and testimonial. So this is very important to be on your website. The fourth reason people don't trust your website is because there's no social media connections to your website. Think about it. It's 2018, everybody is on social media. So if you're a business and you're not on social media, people are starting to perceive this as, are you a real business or are you not? Way back in the day, it used to be if a business didn't have a website, people can be skeptical. But now with website being so easy and so, so open and everyone could have access to websites, it's more along the lines of social media. If a business is not on social media, are they real, are they not? Because by being on social media, people can connect deeply with your business, with your brand, they can relate to you, they get to, to get to get, uh, they get to understand the personal aspect of the business. So by you not having a presence on social media, it makes people not trust you as a business and it makes people not wanna interact with your business or your website. So fixing this and making sure you have a very solid presence on social media will help people trust your business more. And last reason people don't trust your website is because you have no portfolio. This is heavily based towards the, the B2B industries. So if you're a, say, for example, a service-based uh, product and you say, for example, like we are, we're a website development company and we've developed a lot of websites for people, for clients and businesses. And if we have none of this portfolio on our website, how is somebody meant to trust us 
to know how good we are at what we do. So by having this type of information, a portfolio on your website, this will instill trust into your customer and your potential customer, which will make them want to use and interact with your business. And that's all we have for you today. If you have any questions regarding this, feel free to leave them in the comment section below and I'll do my best to get back to you as soon as possible. If you need help with your website, if you want us to have a look at your website to see where you might be potentially going wrong, feel free to contact one of us and a member of the team will be in touch with you. Till next week, that's all we have for you today. Make sure you subscribe and bye for now.